Hey everybody, Justin with Lucky 8 Off-Road and today I'm going to talk about the Genuine Snorkel. We're going to do a quick walkthrough on how to install it, but most importantly, uh, I'm going to run through some tips and tricks, especially here on these rib nuts and the secret way I figured out to do it to get it on the truck without taking off the door. And you're saying, why is the snorkel off in the first place? Well, Ned, and you know who I'm talking about, Ned, was on a trip with me in front of me, threw stones up, and now I got a new windshield. So thanks a lot, Ned. But we're gonna make lemonade out of lemons, I think is what they say. And I'll show you guys the tricks on how to get this snorkel installed. Run the intro. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna start at the start. The first thing that's gonna give you trouble is this little rib nut piece. I wish they would have installed them for us, but hey, that wasn't in the cards. You're gonna to wanna to install this into the two holes here. It's not the other one. You know what, when I bring the camera in closer, I'll show you the other one that goes up in the A pillar there. But I would not even Think about attempting to install this without a rib nut tool. They are on Amazon, they're dirt cheap. I'm sure your local hardware store has them and I bet you places like Advance and Napa will just rent you the tool for free. So you're gonna wanna make sure you have that. And this, I'm gonna bring the camera in and I'll show you how to install it. First thing is to identify the right rib nut. It's this howl one. It's supposed to collapse easier. And just for reference, the other one that goes on the roof is right here. We do not want to use that. And you'll also need a rib nut tool for this. Same thread, by the way. Put that off to the side. You want to take that, you want to jam it in. Feel like a hero. And you're going to want to run the bolt in. Don't. You want to get your rib nut tool. Sure there's plenty of bite on it, which I don't have. Adjust it like so. As you adjust it, it'll bring the threaded portion out. Okay. You want to apply pressure down as you're using the rib nut tool. It may take a couple times to collapse it all the way. There you go. Next up, you're gonna to wanna to get this little plastic trim piece out of the way. It's easy to do. Open the door, get your little trim tool. Everybody's got a plastic trim tool, right? You own the Defender, you're gonna need one of these. You're gonna pop that off. I'll bring the camera in and show you how to do it. You wanna follow the plastic along. There's a little lip right here. I get the trim tool behind it. Boom, comes right off and you open it that way, slides off. Don't force, don't break it. It's just held on by this little, little tooth right here. Boom, pops off. That exposes the torques. We'll take the torques off and then you would be able to slide this up. You know what, I'll do it just so you guys can see it. All right, you're gonna need a T30. Get it on there, take it out. Torques out of the way. You're going to want to slide this down. Car's super wet. Probably embarrass myself, but oh, here we go. It's in there pretty snug, especially if you're running uh, roof lights and you get it out. But there, there is these little tabs and they just slide in and it locks it in place to the window. Better than the plastic clips on the LR3, those things always fall off. Next up, there's a little pla little um, black, you know what, I'll bring it in, you can have a look. Right here, you can see the black little sticker that the rib nut is going through. You're gonna wanna do the same thing, just push the rib nut through and tighten it down with your rib nut tool. Once that's done, it's the hard part. This is my least favorite part of the snorkel job. 
There's a template that comes in the kit or in the kit online on Land Rover's website. They have all kinds of instructions. They're actually really good. You got to lay out the template, you kind of measure this where it goes, and then you cut out a hole. If you're a little this way or a little that way, it's okay because snorkel covers it up. But if you go Kung Fu Bananas, you're gonna be able to see it. So be careful, take your time, cut it out. Little tip is you can run in a drill in, start a hole and then cut it out. I used a Sawzall, but I'm sure you guys can figure out a way to cut a piece of plastic. Then with that done, you're going to want to put this back on the truck. You gotta stick it in past the fender. And then boom, it's in place. Tighten down the torques and we'll move to the next step. Next up is to find your little metal adapter piece that holds the top of the snorkel in place and the torques. Everybody wants to install it like this, but it's not how it goes. It goes pointing down. And that's because you're gonna slide the snorkel in between the pillar and the mounting piece. You can go ahead and tighten that up and then we're going to snap this plastic piece back on. Your lower trim piece, we're going to put it on reverse. It's going to clamshell into place. We'll catch, there you go. Like that. And then it's a little loose, so you want to hear that snap. So that little tooth that we had trouble with earlier getting it off is now in place. Give it a little Good, it's in there. You don't wanna see it flying off as you're driving down the highway. All right, we are getting towards the end and the magical door part. So you're gonna find that little notch in the top of the snorkel. We're gonna slide it up in here, grab that metal piece, and then this ridged, ridged, ribbed edge, oh, ribbed edge needs to slide in right here. So you kinda of get it in there sideways and give it a little bunk like that. First, up here. Second, you wanna get it. If you push up too far, you won't be able to line it up because the top of that ridge is gonna hit the top of this. Just kinda, there you go. You can almost feel it snap in. Job done, let's go. Unfortunately not. We have to deal with the bolts that go through it. I'm not the first guy to think of this. I think uh, Simon from Powerful UK said that he was able to reach behind the door. What I do is I get it like this, put the bolt between my fingers, and then I get them started. That's not the hardest thing to do. The real trick comes next. So I'm gonna get these through. I'm gonna get them started with my fingers, and then I'll show you the wrench I use to get these tightened up real easy. got the top one started. I take my flexible wrench. It's a 13 mil. I'm sorry, not 13 mil, 10 mil. And then I just reach back there. I'll be blocking the camera when I actually do it. But here's the idea. You can move the door, get it into whatever position you need it, fully open. Get it on the bolt head and just gently start to tighten it up. Super easy. With it close, you don't want it to be tightened all the way down because you might want to wiggle it around a little bit to help get the bolt in on the bottom. Same thing, slide the bolt back in, get it started, get the wrench in there, tighten it up. Then you can tighten the top one up. And last thing to do is put on the snorkel top. So, hyperspeed. Wait, 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 hold a second. Uh, I was just about to do the hyperspeed jump and then I realized you guys haven't done this a whole bunch of times. It's probably your first go at it. So another trick is to get a little mirror, get a flashlight back there, and then you can kind of go like yo and see where the rib nut is that you're trying to align. 
I know it's the second hole from the top, second hole from the bottom, but if you're at it the first time and you're having a tough time, put a light back there, get a mirror. I'll bring the camera in and then you know, you'll be able to actually see the rib nut that we're going for. So I'll bring the camera in, we'll look at the rib nut, then I'm gonna hyperspeed this, we can move to the top. Okay, here's the mirror. This is gonna be, boom, I was able to do it. So that's what I was saying. There's the first hole on the bottom and the second little hole cut out in the sheet metal is the one that we're going for and that's where we're gonna try to align the bolt to grab the rib nut. Easy way to do is one is square, one is round, and uh, that's a quick look. All right, I'm gonna jump back to hyperspeed. Once you have the bolt as tight as you can get it with your little adjustable ratcheting wrench, you're not gonna be able to tighten them all the way. Sorry, bad news bears. There's a little offset piece in the bodywork that stops you from getting this wrench to tighten them all the way. You'll have to switch to a quarter inch ratchet. I like to just stick the ratchet on the end of the bolt and tighten it up real easy. I've had some success laying on the, you know, on the floor, reaching around the door and trying to do it, but I'll bring the camera in. There's another ratchet just in there balanced on the bolt head to give you an idea. You tighten those down. Again, you don't have to go crazy. You're just tightening into plastic, but you shouldn't have any movement. So have a, have a look. You'll see what I mean with the ratchet. We'll get those tightened. And this part is the most difficult, but it's not anywhere as annoying as cutting that little uh, trim piece. So here we go. There you go. You can kind of see the ratchet in the reflection on the door. Just balance it right on the bolt. Tighten everything down. It's not the hardest, just take your time. Lastly, onto the top bolt, I use the quarter inch drive with a deep socket. Super easy. Once it's started, you can just kind of reach it in there, hook it around the bolt head. I'll bring the camera and give you a, a view. This one's super easy. There's that ratchet, you can align it. You can see the top of the bolt, it's not a big deal. Just tighten it up and away you go. Last thing we have is the snorkel top. Don't just smash it on, pay attention to this bit. These are notorious for getting ripped off in the car wash. They're held on with this little metal clip that pops into the top of the snorkel. And there's like one little tab of sticky tape on it from the factory don't like that. I get some 3M uh, little double face sticky tape, put it in various locations on it. I make sure this is clean, this is clean, and then we snap this in place and kind of wiggle it in to get the tape to bite real good. Uh, again, I'll bring the camera in, show you, but uh, that's pretty much it. We'll wrap this up by talking about all the tools that I've used, and uh, we're almost there. I'm going to clean this and I'll meet you up there. Top of the snorkel, you'll see that little ridge here that's cut out. That's where the metal clip snaps in. This is where I put my double face sticky tape. I'm gonna peel that off. I'm going to drop the snorkel cap. There we go. Snor snorkel cap, there, thank you. In position, I'll give it a tamp down and then I'll make sure that it grabbed all of the sticky tape below. There you have it, snorkel installed. That is the easiest way I've found to do it without folding yourself in half, laying on the floor, trying to get up in between the doors or having multiple people help you get the door off. Like I said, I've done a handful of them, more than a handful. That's the easiest way I can do it by myself. And uh, with a body like this, I'm not taking that door off. But quick review on the tools that we used. Okay, we, well, most importantly, this one. You're gonna need your rib nut tool with the metric stud in it. Then we used our 30 mil torch to get that off. Plastic popper, you really don't need it. You can kind of just pop it off with your fingers, but 
you got a defender, I'd get some of these. There's all kinds of body panels. You're going to want to pull off with those. Then we used the flexible wrench with the 10 mil. It makes it super easy to get these things almost all the way in. Follow it up with the stubby 10 mil. And then the real easy bolt on the top once it started with the longer 10 mil on the little uh, quarter inch drive ratchet. If you've got a mirror, your life is great. If not, we kind of showed you what you were looking for on the backside. Uh, another thing is with the snorkel out of the way or off before you install it, you can kind of put some uh, painter's tape on there, get you an idea of where the bolt location needs to go and get yourself some double face sticky tape to get that snorkel top done. Well, I hope this is gonna help somebody out there. Uh, that's all I really got for today. So on that, I'll see you on the next one.